The idea that the Three Gorges Dam is full of holes is a powerful and unsettling image. It suggests a structure on the verge of collapse, a giant sieve holding back a catastrophic flood. This rumor did not appear out of thin air. It grew from real concerns, misinformation, and the sheer scale of the project itself. When people look at photos of the dam, they see large outlets and spillway gates. During flood season, huge jets of water shoot from these openings. To an untrained eye, control releases can look like uncontrolled leaks, as if the dam is failing to hold back the Yangtze. Dramatic visuals are easily misinterpreted, feeding a narrative of structural weakness amplified by social media. Every small crack or stain gets framed as impending disaster, resting on decades of controversy and fear. To understand the Three Gorges Dam, we must look beyond the rumors and see what it was designed to be, a multi-purpose tool of immense scale. Its primary, celebrated function is flood control. The Yangtze brought life and devastating floods that claimed millions of lives and homes. The dam regulates flow, aiming to tame the river's most destructive impulses. It generates massive hydroelectric power, reducing reliance on coal, powering cities and industries across central and eastern China. The reservoir and locks transformed navigation, allowing 10,000-ton freighters deep inland. It stores water for agriculture and cities, vital as climate patterns shift, despite significant environmental and social costs. It protects from floods, generates clean energy, facilitates trade, and manages water. A project of national strategy, reshaping a river and a region. Construction was an engineering feat, human ingenuity and organizational power. It began in 1994, moving unprecedented volumes of earth and rock. It is a concrete gravity dam, holding water by its own immense weight. Over 27 million cubic meters of concrete were poured, enough to encircle earth with a one-meter wall. Meticulous planning and advanced tech ensured integrity and longevity. Designs accounted for pressure, earthquakes, and concrete aging. Foundations were anchored in solid granite bedrock. Cooling systems prevented thermal cracking, forming a monolith free of internal weaknesses. Thousands of sensors became the dam's nervous system. Stress, strain, temperature, minute movements constantly monitored. 22 spillway gates and 23 bottom outlets discharge floods safely. These are the holes misread as leaks, precisely engineered lifelines. The most persistent myth is that the dam is full of holes and leaking catastrophically. In reality those holes are engineered outlets, spillways and sluices. During floods, gates vent water in a controlled manner to prevent overtopping. Powerful jets mean the system is working as intended, not failing. All large concrete dams have some seepage. Concrete is porous, perfection is impossible at this scale. The dam includes drainage galleries and monitoring to collect and channel seepage safely. Measured seepage has remained well within designed limits. Early hairline surface cracks were acknowledged, superficial, from temperature shifts and curing. They were not deep structural defects. Myth, crumbling, leaky bring men she ship. Reality, engineered monitored water management. The holes are flood control lifelines, leaks are predictable managed seepage. The dam isn't an impermeable wall, it's a dynamic system designed to interact with a powerful river. Away from rumors, expert opinion tells a different story. Hydraulic and structural experts overwhelmingly find the dam structurally sound. Conservative design, extreme flood planning, and seismic considerations underpin safety. Designed for a 1 in 10,000 year flood, exceeding many global standards. Assessments rely on internal monitoring data reviewed regularly. Deformation, seepage, and stress remain within safety margins. Movements are millimeter scale, tiny and expected materials, temperature control, and rigorous QC further strengthen the case. No mega project is flawless, but the core engineering is solid. The larger challenges are environmental, sediment, ecosystems, reservoir banks, not breaking apart due to holes. Long-term management, silt buildup, fish impacts, landslides, demands ongoing science and policy. The full of holes myth is false, but real challenges remain. In 20 to 20, record rains brought the largest flood test since operations began. Operators balanced reservoir safety with downstream protection. The dam blunted the flood peak, likely averting devastation in Wuhan. Reservoir banks face saturation and landslide risks. Reinforcements and early warning systems require constant vigilance. Sedimentation reduces storage and power potential over time. 
deep outlets and seasonal drawdowns help pass silt downstream. Migration blocks impact fish, hatcheries and flow pulses seek mitigation. Solutions are complex with long-term outcomes still under study. These nuanced ongoing trials are the real story, far tougher than myths of structural collapse. In a hyper-connected world, rumors don't just entertain, they shape behavior. A warped satellite image went viral in 2019, falsely suggesting dangerous bending. Each share and comment layered perceived legitimacy, fueling panic. False alarms erode trust, dangerous when real emergencies strike. The antidote is information literacy, clear expert communication and critical public thinking. Today the Three Gorges Dam symbolizes immense engineering power, national ambition, and responsibility. The truth, it's not full of holes, nor on the verge of collapse. It performs flood control and power generation effectively. Safe does not mean problem-free, the real work is managing environmental and social costs. Responsible stewardship means continuous monitoring, sediment and landslide management, and ecological restoration. Move beyond scary myths, engage the hard questions of living with powerful rivers. The Three Gorges Dam will remain central to that conversation for a very long time.